Welcome back everybody to the Banished Mega Mod with me, Vapor, and welcome back to George. Okay, we've got a couple of things to be getting on with. We're going to do the trees that I've, I've forgotten to do here. Um, I almost feel like I'm clutching at things to do. <laughs> There's lots of tinkering that could be done. But the game is getting progressively slower and I don't want to send it back to Night Ghost in a point where, you know, him, Martha and Normand won't be able to actually do their thing. So, I don't know if I want to call this the last episode yet, but I think we're getting very close to it. So, just a little bit of caution there. A few people have asked me if I'm going to, if I'm actually going to miss George and, and miss doing this. Um, the, the correct answer to that is yes and no. <laughs> Uh, it's it, it's been a labour of love. It, this, I suppose you could say it's very high pressured, especially at the beginning, uh, because we were trying to push out loads of episodes um, quite frequently. Um, like if you had it, you had to do one every day. And there was times where I, I actually went on vacation and had to kind of cram in as many episodes as possible. So that side of it, I won't miss. Um, the actual project itself and and what we've done here. I think, yeah, I will miss that because it's, it's absolutely, it is a, a beautiful town and the, between the three of us, we've added so much to it. So it's not just you know, me with the decorations. Um, it's like Noble um, doing all these fine tuning and getting things working right. It's Night Ghost and his mad expansion plans. Because <laughs> let's face it, my goodness, when he got hold of the game, did the town expand? Like just immensely so it's it's been a really interesting experience uh, would I do it again possibly I don't think I'd do it again on banished um, just because I mean as much as I love this game I've been, I've been playing on my channel now for well over a year and it does it I don't want to say I'm losing my passion for it but if you play something too often on a regular basis it's so easily easy to lose that that passion and that love so yeah i don't think i'd do it on banish i'd love to do it on another game most likely maybe something that's um physically a multiplayer where we can both or all three of us kind of <laughs> play at the same time just have that dynamic of conversations and things like that so yeah that's that's where my thoughts are at the moment and i know you guys have i've absolutely loved um, what's been going on um, and what we've achieved here so I mean thank you very much for the support and as always always drop a like if you like what you see okay I think there's probably enough trees in there. I just want because it looked too flat I don't I don't want to put too many in but just something just to break it up a little bit so I'm, I'm quite happy with that um, here we're fine oh wait a minute Missed something here. Uh, was it this one? Yes. So let's let's get that done. And I think there we are. Perfect. So that's that part done. This is fine. I'm not too sure what to put in these areas. Now we need some pathways coming up to these. I think that will do nicely. I think what we'll do here is just come across at a nice right angle. Are these shops not their houses? I think. Oh no, dentist. There we are. Actually, I've done that the wrong way around, haven't I? Let's move those. Stone road. That's a moss road. There we go. Just go a quick look at things like this that we've missed. That needs a little bit of one there. Okay. That's the front that needs fixing. That's a bit strange how that happened. Um, can we run that right along the back? Yes, we can. And these, I don't think these need a front garden, so I'm tempted just to draw that straight straight across there. And the same here. Wow, they've been really crammed closely together. In fact, let's make it completely boring. Because <laughs> 
to me, that's how it should look. The way they've been just kind of squished together, it kind of makes sense. In fact, let's just run that right along there. And we'll come up the side. Same here. Give those builders something to do. There we go. In fact, yeah, we'll wrap that round the back. So we've got the church, we've got a side entrance there. But we need to... Oh, is that the main entrance? Is there a door in there? It looks like there is. So we'll just do that. I'm guessing that's a house. Oh no, it's a library. There we are. It's just strange. There's two doors. I'm guessing one's to go upstairs. Do the same kind of right angle thing there. Excellent. Uh -huh. Noble's been doing some half jobs. I think I'm using the wrong road here as well. Never mind. I'll adjust that in a second. So it looks to me like he's been using the key road. So, yep. Drag that along there. Perfect. So many trees. Okay, they've all got their pathways. Perfect. Right, so I think that's that part done. I think what we'll do is we'll unpause the game, play out times one, and enjoy <laughs> the really, really bad frame rate. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to tidy up some of these bits here just to make them right. So here we go. Uh, key square. Let's get this sort of stuff kind of boxed off. This definitely needs some love over here though. It's just too plain. There's nothing nothing here to make it look like it's a, a hive of trade and transport. So we're going to have to put some cranes and stuff like that in here. Go. Sorry, Mr. Trader, we don't have time for you. We're on a tight schedule. There, 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 and there. Let's get rid of all this sort of stuff. Same here. Perfect. Okay. Ooh, we got some weird glitchy stuff going on there. Not sure what that's about. Oh, I didn't mean to put that one in, I don't think. Can we can we get it? Yes. Oh, there we go. Now I can hear the builders putting in some of those missing roads. That's weird. It's just got a grass floor. Let's put some of that in there just so it doesn't look strange. Uh, the same all the way around the back. They were quite quickly on that, actually. I didn't think they'd get to the road so quick. I thought we'd be waiting for a while. So this is just about me putting lots and lots of squares in. <laughs> we could probably get a road down there, so... Actually, I'll still put them in, because it won't look right otherwise. There we are. And the same sort of thing here, just where it joins, so it looks right. Perfect. And then if we come here, this is stone we're using, it's the same again. Just to get that right. I guess these could have some gardens on the front. There we are. Need one of them there. I'm not... Am I bothered about that? I think I am. <laughs> It's a really... This game really frustrates me sometimes because I try to turn a blind eye to things and then I'm like, oh, I can't do it. I can't ignore it. Which one of those did I put two on? That one. There we go. That's better. Do we need to do the same here? Yes, we do. Perfect. Ooh, 
that looks terrible. There we go. Let's get up here. I don't know what I would do without these squares. They used to be key walls. I used to be obsessed with key walls, and now I find myself obsessing over placing these squares everywhere. Alright, okay. My goodness, this lag just doesn't feel right. Okay, so here, let's have a look. So we've got the train. This is one of my favourite bits, actually. I like this area. It's kind of simple, but, but effective. And this is when we learn how to adjust the terrain a little bit if we ignore this with the new tools to make it look like a proper flowing canal. Okay, so we need, from here, we need water wheels, if only we could use them. So, that one isn't going to be the one, but we want the, the diagonal ones anyway. Yeah, like so. That one might actually work. It's very close to the edge, but we'll see. That one might work better over here. That one's fairly good. Very static, though. It's not going to be able to move. And we'll chuck one of these over here. I don't mind having different ones, because it it's not going to all be the same sort of cranes. It depends what size of ship, um, what, they're, what they're kind of loading. I think we can probably get some boats in here. Let's have a see. Whoa, they're so big, those ones. Um... Logging barge, that might look right about there. <laughs> this one's funny. God, it's so big. Uh, what are we going to go for? It's too big for this area. I think maybe chuck one of them in there. It just looks weird because he looks like he's, he's ready to row the whole time. There we go. I think that'll do. And get some of these crates just kind of lingering around here. Slightly open. What else have we got? Do you know what I might actually put in here? Slightly random. If I can remember where they are. Here they are. Here we are. Gee, let's go for the ghost ones. Where is it? Cat. There we go. Because there's going to be rats and mice and everything around here, isn't there? Let's have a cat. I'd prefer to have more than one. But they all look the same colour, so I don't... <laughs> I don't want to have tons of them. They look a little bit strange. Now, if these are ghosts, these are the ghost ones, yes they are. So we could even have some of these things kind of lingering around. What we got? Let's, let's see what they look like. Some some look better than others. Now, considering this is wood, let's go with some stuff like that. I think that looks fairly good. Are they fire bundles? They look quite, quite nice, actually. Hmm. You don't realise until you start going through some of this stuff how good it actually is. Okay, so if we're going to go over here, let's carry on with the cranes. We want the really skinny looking... Yeah, this one. Shame we can't get it right in the middle. That's it, that's the one I wanted. A slight diagonal. Get the same one again. Uh, 
and we will put in uh, wait a minute there's horses and carts in different ones here which one had the huge one there we go Yep, I don't know how dissimilar they are from each other, to be honest. All oh, right, it's a huge difference. There we go. And I think this one you can get a horse or a donkey in front of, if I remember rightly. Yeah, you can. That's a pony. It's a pony as well. Zebra. Gorgeous looking horse. There we go. <laughs> nice. What else? Barrels? We haven't put any barrels in, have we? That will be under... No, no, no. This one. A couple of these. Go get the right ones. Some of them just look like they need to be up against a wall or something. Plane there. Um, what could we put there? I wonder. Nothing is springing to mind. I'm not seeing anything instantaneously. I don't know. Hmm. We've already used them. There's some planks and stuff, I suppose. So we've got here pewter. Ropes. Ah, oh, ropes. Ropes look quite cool. No, I don't like those. Yep, that'll do nicely. Come on, play nice. Some, some construction materials. Which one of these is stone? That one. There we are. Maybe some of the sun. Looks like they're going to build something. Just makes it look a little bit better. I mean, it's still a huge open area there, but it looks like this, they're actually doing something. Doesn't look so boring. Um, I don't think lights go at a diagonal, do they? No, that's a shame, because we could have put some along there. I might put a couple just in this area. Like so. Whoa. Whoa. God, that was hard work then to move. Something like that on this side. We'll probably do the same along here. We've got a lantern there, so we don't need one immediately. Something like this. Again, can't do diagonal, so I'm not going to put any there. Put one there. There, might squeeze one last one in. Yep. Same over here. This area looks like it's not had a lot of love, actually. Come on, come on. There we go. It's a shame we can't do diagonal ones. We've got this. And looks like it's been a bit butchered here. I think that was me originally. <laughs> I think I did that. I could just... could have some green area there, but... I don't know. Aha, we didn't finish this. It's great. Where's the squares? Stone. There's the stone. Oh, come on now. Placing everything in the wrong way. That looks a bit weird. That's a strange old glitch. It's not like it to leave a gap. Hmm. There we go. 
go to the front door of the church and huh I don't want to put loads of squares in I, I might have to be happy with that I don't know what to do on the front of those I guess it's probably going to be gardens again this area is bugging me let's go for the fences so we'll use ghost or maybe not what have we got probably this one where's the diagonal piece do we have a corner oh we have one of those no huh how are we going to do that bit Maybe if we use... Is that the edge piece? I think it is. Oh no, there we go. Ah, so we're going to have to use the two different types. That's fine. Yeah, there we go. So if we use the long one... Get that gap like that. Oh, look at that. Perfect. And uh, diagonal... The right one, Vapor. Ooh, it's going to go into their door a little bit. A little bit of bad urban planning right there. One of that, and one of those. And I guess... Hmm. I guess we're going to use... I kind of like putting these bricks in. It looks different. Gives it a nice touch. Just breaks up this kind of uh, key square all the time. So we'll do these. Just to give it a bit, bit of a nicer feel. Here comes the, the good old snow. Just to make my life even more difficult. Because now I can't see a thing I'm doing. There we go. When you get that more of a, a blue hue, it, it makes it a little bit easier. I say a bit. I, I use that word loosely. I think, is that everything? Have I missed one there? No. Perfect. That, that fixes that area quite nicely. Hmm. So I think... I think we need to do something with this. I'm going to put some trees in here and just make that a bit of a forested area. I think we need to do something with this kind of edge here. Need to deal with that. Um, a little bit of garden in here, which I can't do now because of the snow. Possibly some stuff here. I would say that area is quite done. This needs tidying up whether the bed has been raised. We can do that. Might put some bushes along here. I'm, I'm still undecided. I'm still thinking about that. I think we might do a little bit of a boating lake in here behind these houses. And then... Maybe... Maybe we'll do something with... Around this track. I'm not sure yet. I'd really like your input. Um, I know uh, a few people mentioned about Martha's Mansion, and obviously I had my reasons behind not doing that. What's hit its limit? One second. Food? My goodness, it's not often that happens. I did buy quite a bit before the beginning of the episode, but I wasn't expecting that to happen. Um, 130. Oh, my, my enter key seems to be stuck on my keyboard. Did we get it? I think we did. Yeah. So basically, yeah, any input, what, what is it you think needs doing before we finish it? Because like I say at, at the beginning, I don't want to put too much stress and strain on it for Night Ghost. Because <laughs> that, that is purely my concern at the moment. Because the frame rate is pretty shoddy. I mean, okay, at the moment, if I'm just standing still not moving here, it's fine. I guess you can't really see it. But even going at times two, it halves my frames per second. Times five, you might be seeing it there a little bit. It's a bit stuttery. Times ten would be impossible. 
Especially if I wanted to move around. So that is my only concern. But I think I'm going to leave this episode here. We'll call it a little bit of a shorter one. Just so I can get some of your feedback before progressing to the next one. I know I said at the beginning it might be the last. I said might. Yeah, that's more of me kind of seeing the fact that we are getting to towards the end. It's not going to be the last, obviously. Maybe another couple. <laughs> we'll see how we go. But I think we'll draw this episode to a close. So go and check out Night Ghost 49's channel and Noble Rambler. Give them a little bit of love. Give me some love too. I always like to see the likes and the comments. But on that note, until next time, as always, take care.